Hey guys, uh, Dean of Games or Dean of DVD, depending on what channel you're watching. And I wanted to go through and show you something I just picked up. This is a game that I've wanted since I heard about it. Seen it played on some videos on YouTube. They had it at the local board game store and for a good price. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to pull the trigger. I was in there a couple times checking it out and ended up picking up something else each time. But, but every time I was looking at this thinking, you know, I should get this game. And I finally did. Love the look of the box. Love the look of the components. Haven't put it together yet, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to put the, together the components and tell you a little bit more about photosynthesis. This is a game where you basically are taking points, light points they're called, and planting seeds that turn into trees. Uh, and those then grow depending on how much light they get. Obviously, a small tree in the center of the forest, unless the sun can get through the other big trees, is not going to do much. Um, and the idea behind that is, well, let me show you how gorgeous this thing looks once it's set up. You get four different players with four different colored trees. When they when they are put under the forest floor, it really starts taking shape into a, a beautiful forest. Looks like a very nice game. Uh, made by, uh, yeah, Jalmar Hak. And Sabrina Miramon did the art, beautiful art with this. Beautiful trees. I have to put the trees together. I'm going to show you that in a moment. And then uh, once I do that, uh, I'll show you how to set up the box because you do have to take some things out, add some things in. But when it's done, you can have these fully assembled trees because the box is pretty thick. You'll have fully assembled trees. You just give each person their box and they're ready to rock. So I really like the concept of it. Let me open it up, show you what's like inside, and then show you from there how you assemble the box. And then we'll talk about the gameplay. All right? All right, I think that affords a pretty decent view of the game itself, and let me or the box itself. So let me open it up, show you what happens when you open this box, what's inside of it, and then, as I said, I'll put things together and revisit it once it's been assembled. These boxes always come off slow, which is good. It's fitting on there tightly, I can assure you of that. All right, I'll take that off. So the first thing you'll notice when you get this game and open it up, and I do recommend this game. I played it at the board game store. They had an open copy. I had a lot of fun. Uh, you get this instruction manual. It tells you how to put together the bases. They just basically crisscross together. And then you've got these four things that are going to open up. And are going to form the four uh, boxes. So this thing, these things are all going to open up. There's four of them. There, they're going to sit into the into the game board or the box like this. The trees are going to go right down in them. Kind of cool. And then you put everything on. Then you put stuff on top of it. So let me take those out. Here are the rules. The rules are simple. But don't be deceived. They're in uh, French and English. Just because it is a four-page rules, there's a lot of strategy to this. It reminds me conceptually of a game like Santorini, if you've played that. Simple and yet not so simple. Kind of like chess in a way, I guess. You know, pretty simple concept. All right, so here is the sun. Pretty sure. This is the sun. And those are the directions of the sun's rays. This is going to move around the board. As it does, that's going to determine what's going to grow, what's not going to grow. Here is the actual board, the forest board. Very nice. Put that to the side, and then some tokens, as you can see. Then we get into the actual, oh, not yet, player board. Some trees. Here's one of the player boards for the orange trees. Very colorful, very pretty, very nice looking. Here's some of the small trees. These will be assembled. And there's the green ones there. These come out very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of all that. All these are trees here. This thing in the bottom here is going to come right out. We don't need it anymore. It's just a placeholder for so we can put the trees down in. So I will come back when I'm ready to show you that. Okay, I'm partially through the process, but I want to show you something. In the bottom of the box, you're going to find two pieces like this. And they are just next to each other. And you take them out. 
What I did was pull them apart because I found that the distance between here and here was approximately the distance between one of these. And the way they want you to do it is like this. You put the four pieces in here. And by the way, you put it so that corners match up both here and here. By the corners, I mean, there's a little higher spot. And also the box is higher here than it is here. As you can see, if I, I think you can tell if I hold this up. Um, you should be able to tell it this way, I think. Yeah. See, the side's lower. The lower side, you want to put in the center. The reason for that is the board's going to go in the center, in the center along with these other um, player pieces. So that's the way they want you to do it. The problem with this is it, they're very flimsy, for one. You can see they don't even want to go back in there easily. And you're not supposed to take them out, I guess. The idea is that you, once you put them in here, they stay, and the pieces just go down in here like this, and you just take, kind of grab and take them out and throw them back in when you're done. But what I did was take this, cut it so that it fit onto these, and now what I've got is a tr uh, essentially a tray that you could take out. So I just put the, the cardboard on the bottom, taped it on, nothing fancy. And now it stays, it holds its shape, so it goes back in there easier. I'm going to do that with each one of these. I think that's the way to do it. They don't really show you how, I mean, the little diagram doesn't really show you clearly what you're supposed to do, but um, you want the lower pieces here so that in the end, when you put all these in here, like I said, and... You know, once you get them in, you're, they're not supposed to come out, like I said. But I think what, what I'm going to do is going to keep the shape nicely, like I did with this one. And it'll be easier to put them in and out. And then you put the board right on top of here, because this is going to be a little lower here. So you put the board here, and then the other player pieces, player boards, are going to sit on top of this as well. So you can see there's room in here now. Just kind of keep them in place. Plenty of room and the board sits on top of this and so on so that's that i think this is a good idea that's what i'm going to do uh, they don't give you any baggies with the game but my thought is that all these little pieces here like these go with the orange player i'll bag those up probably in a tiny baggie and put them right down in here so when someone takes if they want the orange player they just take the whole thing and they got everything they need to be able to play the game all right i'll come back with some more in a little bit first of all i will say the box fits perfectly it's right down to the bottom I'm starting to bring it up a little bit, but it is right down to the bottom. So, we take it off, and it still, it still fits tight. Yeah, same kind of thing, trying to get it off. It's like, like there, there you go. Very tight fit, which is a good thing, she said. Uh, so, you've got the rule books here. Then, you've got the board. You can see how much smaller the board is than what it shows in the, the picture. Um, then I put the sun next, and then the four. Beautiful. Each one uh, represents a different season. Here is summer. Lovely. Here is winter. Also lovely. Uh, fall. Nice. And spring. The acorns and yeah so very nice we've got each each season spring summer fall and winter and then here's how i did the rest of it you can see each set of trees has its own spot the lower spot is here the higher spot is here and it is higher by i don't know half an inch or so so the board fits in here and these things right here help to keep the board centered as well as as well as these player boards uh, then i bagged up this i just happened to put it in this one it can go in any of them this one i think the blue ones happen to take a little less room just by the shape of the trees put it down in there then each player has their own pieces in here just in a small baggie they have a, a counter and then these and each one of them are shaped a little differently this happened to be the acorn for the spring they all fit down in there nicely but now, when you take this out, so if someone wants to play this, this one, they just take it out. I put a bottom on it, as I showed you before. The bottom's just the cardboard that came with it. I just taped it up. It's, there's, it's not heavy at all, so it makes for a nice situation. So this only goes back one way. It's this way. I'm thinking about putting little arrows or dots right on each one of these, so I know which one. It's not that it's that tough, but sometimes it's just not as intuitive as you'd like it to be. And that is how you package this up. It's really the only way that makes any sense. 
to me. You can put these either way. You can put these this way or the other way. Put them this way, I guess. Then this I had up here. And then the board. And then finally the rules. And you really don't need this. I'll throw it in for completeness, but you really don't need it. And then the lid. Beautiful. It really is a beautiful game. Um, the letters here are actually actually glow a little bit. I don't know if you can tell as is the tree. It's a little shiny. Kind of hard to angle it to make you see that, but it is difficult to do. But beautiful box. Um, and the back is also. So like I said, I played this at the store. It took maybe mm, maybe an hour. There was three of us. Um, Simple game, though. It says for ages 8 plus, 2 to 4 players. I think this game would play fine with 2. It might be a little crowded with 4, but I think you could do it. This is showing 4. Just makes for a challenge. This game's got a lot of buzz, and rightfully so. Uh, I think it's the kind of game that, as simple as it is, I can see my... 12 year old daughter easily getting into this game i can see my boys getting into it uh it, you know it's chess like in its simplicity i like the sun that rotates around the board so that it provides light at different angles you can kind of see what's coming as far as that sunlight where it's going to be the next turn what angle is going to come in at how it's going to hit the forest so you make decisions based upon that where do i put my tree uh do i block somebody else uh, all those kind of things. So I find it interesting. It's like an area, it's sort of like an area control game, I guess. But I, I think of it more as an abstract game. And I think if so, I my thought is if you like abstract games, you'll probably like this. If you like games like chess, or Santorini, um, or Sorrow, T S A U R O, I think it's spelled. I think you'll like this. If you like uh, games that have beautiful components and a theme that makes sense. I mean, the, the sunlight hitting the trees, uh, helping them to grow that way, uh, providing you with uh, more uh, ability to grow your trees as a result of your trees getting light. I think that's a good thing. It's very thematic in that, in that manner. The components are beautiful. The rules are simple, four pages, and a lot of that's art, kind of depicting what you should be looking at on the board. So for me, it was a great game. I loved the, the uh, one game I did play. I'll play more. I think it's the kind of game you could almost have with anybody. You could, you could play with anybody. And like I said, the artwork is gorgeous. Um, kudos to Sabrina Miraman who did a wonderful job on the art, <clears throat> and the Blue Orange for producing a great game. And, of course, the design, you know, simple designs are sometimes the best. You look at chess, you know, uh, simple but amazing, or go. Sometimes these games have a way to, because they're simple but provide a lot of strategy, they stick around a lot longer. I think this is going to be one of those kind of games. I, I see this as being a game that, that 10 years from now you'll still be playing it and introducing new people to it. It's that simple. Hopefully the components hold up. I think they will. And, uh, yeah, really enjoy it. And uh, looking forward to playing it more. So that's photosynthesis. Hope you, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, the boxing element or how to, how to box this thing up. Everything else I've seen is just showing the play of it. So I didn't want to do that. That's been done enough. You can find plenty of places that'll that'll show you that on YouTube, but I just wanted to show you how to put it back in the box because nobody was showing that, and I thought it was a pretty important. I didn't think it was that intuitive. Hope you like my idea of the cardboard bottoms. I think it's a lot easier than just trying to take them out and put them back in. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Take care. Photosynthesis.